Hello, in this video we're going to monetize our Celebrity News app with banner ads from AdMob. AdMob is a mobile ad network owned by Google. We can decide on which pages these ads will appear, and we can also decide the placement, whether it will be on the top or the bottom of the page. Before we start, I'm going to duplicate this app, and then I'll put the ads onto the duplicate copy. So let's duplicate it now. And I'm going to call this style fun and it's a native Android app duplicate click on done okay let's go back to our duplicate copy and we've got it down here Gangnam style fun let's go to the dashboard this will be the final name for this app we're basically using the celebrity news app that we created before as a template and from that we can quickly generate other apps next click on application settings and click on add mob as you see here publisher ID get an add mob account and monetize your app okay so click on that takes us to add mob now sign up with add mob click on that and as you can see it's asking us to create a Google account well, we already have a Google account, so we'll log in with that. So let's sign in with our Google account. Next, fill in this form. Accept the terms and conditions after you've read them, of course, and click Submit. Once you're signed up and signed in, you should be taken to a page, Sites and Apps. Now scroll down and click on the button Add Site or App. Now we're going to choose an Android app for this demonstration. So we'll click on Android. And we're going to put in the app name. And this one's going to be Gangnam Style Fun. And we need to give it a market URL. Now for Google Play, it'll always be play.google.com slash store slash apps slash details question mark ID equals. So we can put that in already. And onto that we'll add com dot, in my case it's going to be buzz apps dot, and I'm going to have gang, gang name style fun. And that'll be my URL. Even though we haven't got it in the app store yet, this is how it's going to be listed. If you have no idea what your app name is going to be, just leave it as play.google.com. And then we'll come back here later once we've published our app and update this information. Select the category, entertainment, app description. We'll take that from our app builder. Go over to the app dashboard, Google Play properties. Okay, so we'll copy that. Okay, and we'll paste that in there. Okay, we'll leave that. The set is use keyword targeted ads in Google Certified Ad Networks. Let's fill in the capture, which I can't read. Let's try that again. Okay, click on continue. Next, you'll see this page where it says install code Gangnam Style Fun. We don't need to do anything here because it's already built into the app builder. So, all we need to do is go back to the sites and apps. We see Gangnam Style Fun, Manage Settings, and we grab this publisher code. So we'll copy that, Control C, copy. Let's go back to the App Builder. Let's go back to the Dashboard, Application Settings, Add Mob, and we just paste that code in there, and click on Save. Now we can publish our app. Once we've published our app and it's in Google Play, we can then copy the Google Play address into AdMob. And there's one more thing we need to do. Let's go back to the dashboard and go to Page Settings. Now this is where we can decide where our ads are going to go. Well, if our menu is at the top, I tend to put the ads at the top. Just get the odd accidental click. 
So add banners, add mob at the top. Now if we click on add banners here, you can see that it's by default off for most of these pages. So we can just say inherited, in which case it's going to copy whatever settings here. So we just put them all to inherited. I'm not going to have ads on tab 1. Let's put ads on tab 2. Let's put ads on tab 3 and tab 4. And we'll do it for everything, basically. Headlines. So I'm going to have ads on everything excepting for the first tab because I don't want people to open up the app and the first thing they see is an ad. I'd rather them open up the app and then click on something and the ads can be embedded inside the app. That it's not as annoying for the user. I don't want to annoy the user. I want them just to enjoy using the app. So I'm not going to put ads on tab 1, but I'm going to put ads on every other page. And as I've set them here to the top because that's where our menu set for the Android. If this is on iPhone and the menu's at the bottom, I'd probably put the ads at the bottom as well. Okay, so let's save that. And now we just go off and build the app and our ads will be already added into it. Now I've already published the app and it's in Google Play and of course publishing to Google Play is already covered in another video so I'm not going to repeat it here. So let's go to Google Play and get our market URL. So let's go to play.google.com slash store and I'll just quickly find it. And here's our app here. We'll just click on that link. Now the part of the URL we want is this play all the way up to before the and feature. So just between that, play.google.com slash store slash apps slash details question mark ID equals. In this case it's style fun. So we're gonna copy that. Now go to add mob, scroll down to our apps, manage settings. Now we're going to click on edit. Now we're going to paste the URL in here. Okay, now it's been updated, it updated automatically. And there we have it. Okay, so that's all ready to go. That's basically our app published with ads in it. So let's check the phone and see what it looks like. I've just downloaded this app from Google Play. As you can see, there's no ads on the home page. But if we go to the videos page, you'll see the ads turn up at the top above the banner. And of course, if we click on any of these feeds, the details page would also show an ad. And this is the case, of course, for any of these, like Gaming Style News. Here's the ad. Click on the details. We're going to get an ad at the top. Or we could have changed it to being an ad at the bottom if you wanted that. Okay, so that's how you add AdMob to your apps. Thank you for watching.